Hi, hi. I'm I'm James Franco, and I'm I'm David Shields, and it's the year 1991, and actually, um, we're gonna talk. Okay, um, so plagiarism was that something that came out of your exploration of the eye? No, the eye became dead because I realized that individuals make the eye, and what ultimately becomes the eye is just text. But the eye never comes on its own. It's always woven in a text. Yeah, but it took me a while to realize that because I'm a bit dumb. So I guess I forgot about the eye and became interested in just text. Other, 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 other people other people's text. At some point I realized I could use everyone's text, everyone else's writing, and then it was like I was a kid. Suddenly a toy shop opened up and the toy shop was actually entirely filled with culture. It felt like I didn't even have to pretend I was interested in the problem of identity anymore. I could just copy everything. Which of course you did. No, I guess, I guess I don't, I, it I guess I don't. Or I, I guess, yeah, I guess I didn't. It's I, it's very boring to copy. Your mind disappears. That's what's fun. That's when the fun... What's, what's fun? What's fun is what, what happens when you start playing with the text. The text is in front of you, and then you can go anywhere with it. Uh, um, 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 um. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you about musicians, cause they're always doing things like that. Yeah, exactly. Last night I was talking with a friend about appropriation in music, and she was saying that her friend, the musician, had been ripped off, but I told her, Listen, it's not that I think you're wrong, but... I just think it's great that this musician's work is being used. I use someone else's work. They use my work. We all use everyone's work. I'm just very much in love with this idea. And if use of property is considered robbery, then... Well, um, if I had to be honest, if I had to be totally honest, I would say that what I'm doing is a breach of copyright. Even though it's not because I change the words, but even though it's not because you know I change the words sometimes, but so what? We're always we're always just all in a, in a game system, and we're always just playing a game. We earn our money out of a stupid law, but we hate it because we know that the law isn't real. That's one of the basic contradictions of living in capitalism. I sell copyright. That's how I make money. You... you sell copyright? What exactly does that mean? Oh! There's my butt. <laughs> James Franco's butt on TV. That... that's... well, copyright. Yeah. Um, copyright. Um, copyright. 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 No, no, I don't know, uh, I look like a moon, I look like a moon, All right, so what were you saying? Oh yeah. Anyway, so copyright, copyright. Well, that's how writers make their money. The work isn't the property, it's the copyright. I can do anything I want with my property that's 52 years old. So what's copyright? It's something that dies after 52 years, right? Didn't you go to court for breaching copyright in Europe? Well, not exactly. My book was withdrawn from publication, and I was asked to sign a public apology. That is not standard literary practice by any means. 
um, that this this was in fact a ban was banning a banning a book. When I heard about this, I said, "You can you you can do whatever you want with a publication of my book, but I'm certainly not signing a public apology for something I'm not guilty of. I'm not guilty of plagiarism." What do you what do you mean? What what do you mean by that? Well, I'll tell you exactly what I mean by that. To be guilty of plagiarism according to the law is to represent someone else's work at someone else's material as your material. I haven't done that. I have been very clear that I use other people's material. I haven't quite listed sources in my later books, but in many interviews I said where each section came from. For example, the text for this interview we're doing right now actually comes from an interview between Kathy Acker and Severe Latringer. I always make it a point to tell my publisher. There's usually an introduction where I talk about my method of appropriation. I've always thought of it as a literary theory or method. I don't have anything to hide. Plagiarism is when you pirate someone else's work, or rather hijack it. Hijacking a, hijack a copyright. No wonder they got upset. Terrorism in literature. Whoa, whoop. there's my butt again. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, a writer in 19th century terms takes a certain amount of experience and he represents that material. What I'm doing is simply taking text and trying to make it the same as what exists in the world to be equal to not non text, to be more real than non text. But basically, I'm representing the text. It's quite clear. I took some text and represented it. I didn't copy it. I just, I didn't, I, I didn't even say it was mine. You used it as material or reframed it. Right. And it seems to me quite different, quite, seems to me quite a different procedure than the act of plagiarism. I change words. Obviously, appropriation has been some sort of postmodernist technique in the arts for a number of years, but it's very different from plagiarism. The main response from my publisher is usually, Why are you always making trouble? <laughs> yeah, making trouble. Yeah, we're making trouble. Ooh.